As President Joe Biden spoke to a joint session of Congress Tuesday evening on the State of the Nation, tensions with China loomed large after a suspected Chinese surveillance balloon captured the attention of both lawmakers and ordinary Americans. Without mentioning the balloon specifically, Biden sought to reassure Americans while sending this message to China. I'm committed to work with China where we can advance American interests and benefit the world, but make no mistake about it. As we made clear last week, if China threatens our sovereignty, we will act to protect our country, and we did. On Saturday, a U.S. fighter jet shot down the balloon in midair over the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of South Carolina. China has called the U.S. shooting down of the balloon unacceptable and an overreaction. Some Republicans criticized Biden for not ordering the balloon shot down earlier as it traversed the country. They may be looking for a tougher stance on China, Michael Kugelman of the Wilson Center told VOA. So he was not taking a forceful hawkish position. He was leaving open some space for, for conciliation. And I really don't think those members of Congress that want a, a more hardline stand would have, been, would have been satisfied with what he said tonight. Russia's war against Ukraine was also featured in Biden's address. The U.S. has committed more than $27 billion in security assistance to Ukraine. Biden said Russian President Vladimir Putin's invasion one year ago was a test that America passed. We united NATO. We built a global coalition. We stood against Putin's aggression. We stood with the Ukrainian people tonight. We're once again joined by Ukrainian's ambassador to the United States. She represents not her, just her nation, but the courage of her people. Some Republicans have been skeptical of military aid to Ukraine. But that was not the case when Republicans in the chamber, including House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, appeared to strongly support Biden's remarks. I have to say, I saw a lot more support coming from the Republican side of the aisle when he was speaking about Ukraine, particularly at the moment when he said, we are in it as long as it takes. Um, this is something that we have heard uh, the uh, Republican Party push back on specifically, saying that there wasn't a blank check for Ukraine. Apart from the war in Ukraine and a long-planned pivot to Asia, President Biden is planning for the first visit to sub-Saharan Africa by an American president since 2015. Cindy Sane, VOA News, Washington.